So this is actually one of my favorite little features. Uh, there was a way in Maya to do this, uh, but not in Blender. And so I asked Campbell, and he uh, spent like 30 seconds writing this feature. It is extremely exciting. So I'm going to duplicate this cube and set up a parent child little harky here. Um, and basically, all I want to be able to do is move along this chain. And so by using the bracket keys, you can now navigate through them. So cool. And you can even hit, hit shift and select, uh, you know, multiple. Um, and it's pretty smart the way it works. Um, now I've got sort of a branch. Uh, this one is the parent of all of them, uh, etc. But this is also the child of this parent. But uh, by hitting bracket uh, right, it selects both. I'm not really sure how it deals with the active one, probably the longer chain. In any case, um, it's incredibly useful, and uh, you use it all the time, so you should. Let's see, the other thing that I want to show you is I'm going to open up um, a particularly dense shot from Durian and show you this other Campbell feature. Um, so, as you can see, this is a pretty intense shot. If I enable all layers, holy smokes, what is going on? I can barely see this the scene. But if you look, hit the N key to open up this tab on the right, A to close these up, and under the display tab, there is an only render option. And what that'll do is it'll take everything that doesn't actually render, rigs, cameras, empties, curves, and uh, make them disappear in the viewport. And wow, look how clean that is. You can actually see what's going on. Very handy. If you open up any files from the Durian repository um, and you can't select things, that's why. Uh, so untoggle only render. Anyway, awesome feature. Part four is next.